Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is in I Felt Like It Read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I'm going to be starting off here with the Voyager Tarot. I haven't used these for a while. I was going into the uh, my special box <laughs> to grab the mermaids and unicorns, and I was deterred. Uh, to use the Voyager Tarot and the Celtic Lenormand, okay? Actually, that's what we're going to start out here first. We're going to grab three from this, and we're going to work our way uh, into a story from that, okay? These cards have been pre-shuffled. Remember, you guys, take what resonates, leave the rest, you know? Don't manifest weird stuff, you know? If something sounds familiar, you know, wait for the advice for that or something like that, you know? <clears throat> All right. So we're looking for three cards for whoever is viewing this video. Let's see if we can get some energy for the story, right? Three cards for the viewer. Three cards for the viewer. One. Two. more card please okay all right put this aside all right <clears throat> first card here is we have the birds the 12 card reduces down to number three now this could also be in terms of a lot of chattering chit chatting right so so and we also have the seven of pentacles here so that's telling me that somebody may want to come and talk to somebody maybe chat about something um the number three indicates that you know there is safety uh in regards to this because number three represents you know the ascended masters and protection so somebody's trying to come and heal somebody they want uh, heal something with somebody they want to come and talk to you Okay, somebody wants to come and talk to you. We also have the Seven of Cups here and the Five of uh, the Five card, which is the oak, right? This is an oak tree. Now, five represents change, right? We know that. And the Seven of Cups represents options, right? So somebody is possibly choosing to um set down roots somewhere that's what that oak tree is all about setting down roots you know that oak tree is not going anywhere you see once it's there it's there forever right until it dies um so somebody is wanting to make a change in their life in regards to all these options that they have maybe they have all these options to do all kinds of stuff but it looks like they want to make a change in their life some sort of change that involves setting down roots and you know Staying still, right? Now we have a lady here, a young lady, 29, reduces down uh, to the number 11. Okay, this could be a soulmate, right? Um, doesn't have to be. Could just be someone you know, relative, friend. Uh, could be romantic, whatever, right? But there is a young lady here, somebody who is very uh, skilled and handy. Um, this person, as you see, you know, she's she's making things she's got her basket right there she creates stuff right um she's honest also because we also show here the ace of swords okay so this could also be somebody who has a uh, gemini libra aquarius in their chart somewhere doesn't have to be but could be um but this is a, a young lady who is very skilled okay at whatever it is that she does she may be she creates stuff or something like that okay <clears throat> So that's basically uh, the gist of what's going to come out next, right? We have, you may want to talk to this lady about setting down roots with her. You may feel that she's a soulmate, that she's honest, 
hardworking. And you may, this may be somebody that you may not have had, uh, you know, happy times in the past because it looks like you want to heal something with her. Um, so, you know, and I don't know, you know, what you did, but uh, this is the type of situation we have at hand right here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and find out what comes out next uh, with this story. Okay, let's see if I can get like four cards. There's one. We have Disappointment, the Five of Cups. So, you know, whoever you are, you know, or you can flip-flop it, however, you know, but the Five of Cups is telling me that you're sad over the loss of this situation. You've been disappointed over some sort of situation, and that's why you're coming towards this person. You may have thought you were going to be successful in some sort of endeavor or whatever, but it just didn't work out. So now you're disappointed and you're sad because you may have lost the girl too. So, you know, two of worlds reflection. So also right now what you're doing is you're possibly thinking about things, thinking of what has transcribed here because, uh, you know, reflection, right? Reflecting on all the ways that you you know, juggle this person or whatever you did. You may have even told some, this person in the past that you wanted to set down roots with them, this, that, and the other. You may have even had a business with this person and maybe you went back on your word or you lied or something like that or vice versa, remember. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, what's that? Yeah, the sun card. And it also shows here, it's telling me that you may have been enlightened to who this person really is to you. You know, somebody that you really care about and all that. You know, um, this person could also possibly have Leo in their chart because we have the sun card here, right? Let me get another card. the hermit okay so also what i see here is that you know somebody's been enlightened to a situation about somebody wanting to set roots this that and the other right um but it also appears that maybe somebody cannot be found or they don't know where they are or somebody's in hermit mode maybe they're going through some sort of enlightenment themselves but somebody here is becoming enlightened and they are going into hermit mode possibly to think about this right now, this could have happened, or maybe this has happened, or you're in the process of this or something right now, right? But we do have some sadness over the loss of a situation, and somebody is thinking about how they did someone wrong. And, you know, this person they did wrong, they've already been enlightened to everything, you know? Maybe this person who is reflecting didn't realize that they were doing all this in the past. It could be that, too. Um, they could have been led uh, in the wrong direction or something like that. But somebody here is definitely taking a time out to go into hermit mode to figure things out, right? And I feel like this lady, she's a single lady, okay? She's not married. She's not at all with anybody, okay? Seven of Cups, okay? Uh, we had a seven of cups already, and that was with this oak tree, right? Yeah. So the seven of cups is about options. And somebody is sad over the situation because somebody juggled somebody in a lot of options. That's what it was. So, I, yeah, I told you. This person is reflecting on how they juggled this person, how they made this person an option. That's what they're thinking about right now. And, and they're reflecting on, on this. And, and they really, they want to heal something. Yes, they do. But, you know, what happened here? Child of Wands. This is like um, the Page of Wands. This is about, you know, going on a new adventure. You know, seeking new things. We have the word seeker here, right? So seeking new adventures. Um, and somebody could see that somebody has been seeking something. Somebody could have been seeking some sort of place to plant roots. Somebody could have just been wanting to seek, you know, the truth because of the oak tree could be a symbol of truth, right? Uh, Seven of Cups, uh, you know, somebody is definitely reflecting on how they could have also, you know, somebody else's story maybe, 
how they could have been like this page of wands, you know, seeking truth, seeking adventures, and you know, being whatever, you know, uh, experiencing life. Okay, so we do have uh, the High Priestess, the only card that came out in the reverse. Okay, so not directly related to the lady, but directly related for to the person who set down roots somewhere. The person who wants to come and talk, right? This person has been enlightened to maybe who they wanted to have this adventure with, but they didn't use their intuition. That was the problem here. They didn't use their intuition, right somebody here went into hermit mode and somebody here uh should have and should have used their intuition but they didn't okay now we also have at the bottom of the deck balance this is like the ju uh, justice card right um even though the eight card is usually the card of um strength right but not in this deck okay so let's keep going. So somebody didn't use their intuition. They went the wrong way. They thought something, maybe they thought something was real sunshiny, bright, and wonderful. And it may have been on the outside, but not on the inside. Somebody didn't give this much thought. They may have also even jumped into something irrationally, right? Uh, they could have went back also and tried to heal something with another person who they thought was the one, and it wasn't. They just didn't use their intuition. You know, they didn't trust their gut instinct, right? Oof. We have another um, card in reverse, two of cups, equilibrium. So that here is telling me that something is off, right? Two of cups in the reverse is about you know, two people who, you know, maybe they had, did share some sort of emotions in the past, but all the water has, you know, leaked out. It's been too long. There's no balance in whatever relationship there was in the past. And that's what mostly this person is thinking about. They're thinking about how loving it was in the past and how now the balance is just off. It's not there anymore. You know, it's just not happening. magician it's in the upright so now this person is trying to think about how you know they can manifest this back into fruition right they understand what they did they know they didn't use their they they themselves you know this could be you the person who wants to heal stuff you yourself know what you did wrong now all right and maybe in the past you really didn't. You thought maybe that was the way to go, but it wasn't. And, you know, not all of us are born perfect. You know, we're raised by our parents and our parents teach us what they know. And sometimes those things aren't really, you know, not really good. So somebody may have been led astray or taught wrong or just a product of their environment. And, you know, as time passes and, and reflection happens and possible hermit modes for people and, uh, you know, mourning and disappointments and, and fears, all that stuff comes together and people start realizing stuff. They really realize what they really want. And, and why isn't it that they aren't happy? Why is it that they can't manifest what it is they want? And they figure out it's because they have possibly been led astray. They may have some healing to do, um, you know, trauma healing and stuff like that. And that takes time. That takes a lot of time. Okay. So <clears throat> before I lay it down the last card, if you are the person who does want to talk to somebody about setting down roots, or maybe you did and you want that person who is a, an adventurous person to come to you, you, you know, you got to talk to them. Coming to tarot readings is not going to help. You got, you know, maybe if you want a little advice, yeah, but you got to go and talk to them. You got to go and tell them what happened. You got to be honest. You know, that's the best thing to do. 
That is the best thing to do. Honesty is always the best policy, no matter who gets hurt, because what are they going to say? They're going to say either yes or no to whatever you're inquiring about, right? So what's the big deal, right? So that's the suggestion. Now, for the if you are not resonating with that person, you're maybe resonating with this lady who, you know, has done a lot of reflection and this and that and the other, then you should also know that forgiveness is very important when you're going through the journey, right? Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to forgive this person and take them back. You could forgive them and send them on their way nicely also, right? Just accept their apology. You got your closure and everything is fine and dandy, right? That could happen too, okay? But if you are a person uh, like this lady who's been on a healing journey or been enlightened to things, you know, uh, then you have learned that, you know, kindness and, and calmness is uh you know the best way to go right <clears throat> so and uh, at the bottom of the deck we happen to have the lovers card so this is somebody that you love or loved or they love you or they loved you and this is a love situation i was kind of thinking about love when i was uh shuffling the cards but i didn't want to throw it out there because i wasn't sure and you know, up to this point, it looks like somebody is going through something, you know, they did something wrong in the past and now they're reflecting on it and they're, they're remorseful, you know, they're disappointed in, in their actions and, you know, they did have a lot of love for you and, and they may be even trying to manifest it back, but let's find out what that final card is, you guys. What is the final card in this reading? Final card in this reading. The Ace of Cups in the upright. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands, which is success and trust. So this reading, you know, you may have somebody here lost somebody's trust for sure. But I do see that that trust may return, right? after maybe a successful conversation because i do see you see remember how we said that up here somebody wants to heal something and have a conversation and talk about setting down some roots well the final card here is the ace of cups so along with that somebody is going to possibly be expressing their emotions for another person they are seeking some sort of emotional uh healing and i think it has to do actually with some you know going on some sort of journey some sort of healing journey reflecting maybe that's what this lady did maybe that's what she did she went on her own journey she healed herself and maybe and you know she is looking at her past and you know you got to do that you guys you got to do that if you want to heal yourself from anything you got to reflect on the past because you got to figure out why you act certain ways and why you do certain things and you know what i'm saying so it looks like she has, you know, done a lot of hermit mode and reflecting and enlightenment. Um, she, somebody here though, didn't use their intuition when it came to her, right? Um, I do feel that she also is a person who is able to manifest things with the magician card and sun card there right below her and the thing is the person who wants to heal they kind of thought of her as somebody who didn't know what the hell she was doing right they had her that's what i see they had her pegged all wrong they thought that she was just somebody who didn't know what she was doing she has no skills she's not smart whatever right but they had her pegged wrong because of what it what it is is actually is she is a magician she is a manifester right male or female and in the end you know when it comes to these two or whether it's separate or together there will be a new beginning in love right and there will be trust in that new beginning also <clears throat> so that's what i have for you guys um that's those are possible outcomes right now this is if we can all get together those involved here as adults right speaking as an adult right 
not getting all pissed off and popping tires and scratching up cars or spray painting cars. nothing like that just coming together hey how are you doing i would like to speak to you if that's okay right yeah and just let it go let, let it flow like the wind right speak what you need to speak and give each other a chance to listen and speak and you know all right you guys don't forget to keep it true love energy happy friendly loving types we have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful i'm mona this is kaleidoscope dreams tarot and i'll talk to you next time